Selena trees online and I thought they were a phenomenal deal. I was like, oh, $200, no big deal. I bought 20 of them and uh, I was obsessed. I was originally going to do like fresh flowers, like I've seen so many pictures, but then I realized, no, that's too expensive. So I went ghetto and I went to Michael's and bought these fake flowers and thought, oh, April cherry blossom trees. It works perfect. A whole box of them. A whole box of them. And then, oh, I had to pick those all off, by the way. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I don't want to do typical hanging crystals, like draping wise. So I thought I'd make them into little grape looking crystals. Apparently, I'm special again. <laughs> And then I showed Tam and she pretty much fell off her chair. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Um, Tam, what do you all think? Right. What we're going to do, since Gina has all the components already, we, I'm suggesting it that we are going to abolish this idea of doing a DIY centerpiece. Because you don't want to. It's just not quite, is it, I mean it's, I mean it's, it's not elegant. It's not elegant. And so what Tam is going to do is she's going to deconstruct this mm -hmm. and create something elegant and still using the components but in a different way. So right. Take it away. So Gina has all of these blossoms already picked out for me. around it, bringing in the so kind of like the silvery crystal. And that's adding in the gray that we have on this invitation because we have the invitation done, which is wonderful. We can now take the colors and the elements of the invitation and bring it into the ceremony and reception site. So uh, because she has brown and gray and a pop of color, those are neutrals, the brown and the gray are neutrals. I'd like to bring those neutrals into the reception by the linens that we're using, the napkins that we're using, and then the little bit of sparkle with the, with the candles. And now the silver is really going to add the simple elegance that brides are always talking about. My whole thing is typically brides want to go all crazy because they think that the centerpiece has to be like wow. it has to be big like more is more right that's I what I this thought is the romantic way of like rather than you know going big and crazy. so you don't have to have a big centerpiece to make a big impact remember that that bigger isn't a better impact when you have something small and elegant mm -hmm. that is just as much of an impact as 
a, a big centerpiece. So we're redirecting it in another direction where it looks classy, timeless, and elegant. Something that I don't know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do all the fresh flowers for her bouquets. Where I screwed up pretty much is I thought that I can save money by doing everything myself and I thought I was going to have the best DIY tutorial. What do you have to say about that, Tam? Like, typically brides think that they can do everything on their own and save money. I don't think that's the case. I think you should leave it to the, the people that know, the you know, the industry people. Well, it's like if you wanted to redesign your bathroom and you're like, I'm just going to put in the toilet myself. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> You know, you can't, there's things that you don't know. My, my favorite, my favorite catch line is, you don't know what you don't know. So, you know, having an expert, spending the money on an expert to come up with a theme and a plan saves you money in the end. Just like if you were to put in a new toilet by yourself. It's going it, to, it seems like you're saving yourself money, but in the end, you're going to have to have a professional come in anyway. So you start with a professional. Come up with a theme, come up with a timeline on what needs to get done, when it needs to get done, and you have somebody there the whole day who, well, she is having fun, we're making it happen. It's, it's a best case scenario. So I think the key point is, is that um, for all you brides at home that are trying to plan your wedding, Tam could have worked with my budget from the get-go mm -hmm. and made it all coherent and made it the best. I am special. <laughs> She's special. <laughs> okay, so basically for my place card slash wedding favors, I thought it would be cute to do an ice cream theme going through because Alan and I met over ice cream. So my first week, I thought, oh, cute dessert ice cream cups for you know party favors, and then add some chalkboard theme into it, and there's the chalkboard that goes all the way across. I went to Home Goods and I saw these, and they were $12.99, and I thought they were a killer buy because they come with these little cute dessert cups. And I actually bought this um, contact paper and I cut these out and I put them on and I'm planning to write everyone's names on them as a place card cute. slash yeah. wedding paper. And it comes with these really cute little spoons, demi gloss spoons, which I thought would be cute if I had wrapped with some raffia, like a bow or something, and, you know, and then stuff it with um, some of our favorite ice cream toppings or candy or whatever it is. Think about it. I think it's cute. it's cute. I think we can use it, yeah. but we you have to stay away from being kitschy and, and, and still resorting back to, you know, sweet but also elegant. So I do like it. I think it's it can work. Okay, so I'm going to rip apart all of these manzanita trees that she's already gotten. I'm going to put that on the place card table, Catherine. Okay. Without the LED lights or without, you know, the twinkling, <laughs> right. sparkling. Right. So you've got the natural the because we're going to work with the wood shivari chairs, right? That's right. So we have a, a wood shivari chair. Mm -hmm. We now have a satin ivory linen. So now what I want to talk about is we have these as, you know, so this will also accompany the table. But how are we going to make the table, uh, you know, finish it off? So coming back to our invitation, I think that if we use a napkin that has some rawness to it, you know, kind of, I think that it, it works with the envelope. Because we have a satin table and that is shiny, you kind of want to add something that's more raw. This is like the raffia that she talks about. That's the, invi <laughs> the invitation envelope that has that sort of construction paper look. So you're adding in those elements in an elegant way easy, inexpensive ideas to, again, embellish the table with what we already have, mm -hmm. but still make it look like we didn't Tam forget the about how we'll deconstruct the manzanita tree and just have that for a place card table all by itself, raw and elegant and simple. It's going to be a process. It'll be an evolution of yeah. how are we going to incorporate what we've already spent right. and now spend a little bit more money to finish it off because that's what Gina was talking about. But coming back to this, we're, you know, Gina and I are liking this napkin more and more. Mm -hmm. So you imagine 
this is on the table, you know, this sweet little thing is on the table, the napkin's on the table, and then what I'm saying is her friend designed these, and it'd be so cute to have the little boy and the girl, and then the menu on here, it adds color to the table, and then we'll add, we'll add the ribbon, or we'll add the silver, maybe we'll go gray, it, I don't know what we're going to do yet, right. but again, it's just, it's just getting these elements together, because although we only have a month, a month is a good time to now, let's do it. Let's figure it out. Let's spend the money on finishing up the table and boom, we're done. See, right now, my anxiety level is like two. <laughs> because I don't, I'm yeah. not stressing out. These, it's the small details that yeah. really stress you out. It's not the big details. I Getting agree. the vendors, that was not actually yeah. as hard as everyone yeah. makes it sound. I think so. you're absolutely right. The big stuff is almost easier. The smaller details is, is what takes away your joy, you know? So if you want your wedding to be joyful, pick the vendors and pick vendors who are going to help you with those small details. I think that's the best way to put it. Here's my next problem. Thought I could save a lot of money. Originally, my budget was 15000 Alan told me that I'm... Uh, he said my budget was fifteen, and then I realized fifteen thousand is just not doable in my power. So I upped it to twenty thousand without him quite knowing. <laughs> By the time I already signed most of my vendors, it was at twenty five thousand. But it's okay. We're gonna work with what you have, right? And from this point forward, we're gonna make the most of it. So from here on in, we're gonna get good prices on napkins. We're gonna get good prices on Tam bringing in this material and, and making it work. From this point forward, we're looking to the future. And now we're not gonna spend one penny more than we've already, that we've already invested. Now we're gonna make it work because we have professionals involved. Like if I had just been smarter with this, Alan and I could have went on a honeymoon. And because I was not so smart about it, our honeymoon budget is gone out the door. So I'm kicking myself in the butt right now and Alan is probably kicking himself too because we could have made he's the kicking right. Her. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's kicking me. Oh, I'm special. <laughs> so we're here to help you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. It's going to be fun.